Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas SEL Premium R-Line 4 Motion. This particular one is platinum gray metallic on the exterior with Titan black and quartzite leather on the interior. This one has a bench seat, so we don't get very many of these. This one was actually an ordered car, so this is sold. But it has a 21 inch Brazelton R-Line wheels, silver window surrounds around the windows, a chrome, chrome faux exhaust tips on the back, quad set up there with a bit of piano black, a 5,000 pound tow hitch with the seven pin atta adapter attached. It says Atlas right here below the Volkswagen logo, SEL V6 off to the left here, and nice chrome strip under the tail lights. Keyless entry on four doors, silver roof rails. That nice bowl line down the side that the Atlas is known for there goes right into the R-Line logo or badge right here on the quarter panel on the door. Let's take a look inside. And it's hard to see here, but there's actually a Volkswagen logo light, puddle light shining on the ground there. It barely picks it up, the camera does. Here's a look at that quartzite gray on the inset, the door panel right here with that premium stitching, arm pad right here. It's also leatherette and quartzite gray. The seats right here, these are actual leather seats. They're heated and ventilated with a trim patch of, of a lot of gray or quartzite gray leatherette right here that goes up behind the shoulders in the bolster there. Contrast stitching up into the headrest right there. It's a manual headrest. And as we look through here, leatherette right here with a contrast stitch again on this guy. There's a look at the passenger seat, which is also heated and ventilated. Uh, and the power seat and there's a look through to the second row seat bench there as we climb in here here's a look at that Volkswagen digital cockpit so this has uh, three main views here um, I'll show you that in a minute once I change over to navigation here but you have your temperature gauge over here to the left fuel gauge off to the right um, automatic headlights those are going to be standard on pretty much every Volkswagen. All of the Volkswagens now have automatic headlights. There's your windows over here. One touch up and a down on the windows with the silver tips. Also, you have a window lock button right here so you can lock those out. You do have heated mirrors and power folding mirrors here. The power folding icon is this guy right here. The heated mirror is actually built into the rear defrost button over here. So you don't have it over here anymore if you're used to the older school Volkswagens where they had a little button over here or a, a position over here for heated mirrors. That's now embedded in the uh, rear defrost. Power lift gate button is right here. So I can lift up on this guy right here and open the rear hatch and do my contactless pickup. And I can lift up and hold. Key is lift up and hold. And I can close that hatch as well. Again, here's that digital cockpit. I want to move the nav over so we can see this. And you just touch these buttons here, just as I'm doing here in this sequence here. And check the box. And now the navigation is going to show up over here on the screen. And I can zoom in and I can zoom out using these arrows right here. This arrow and this arrow up top. Uh, I also have the dial screen, the wide screen, and the crop screen set up here. I prefer the widescreen myself. That's my favorite in my Atlas. Um, my driving gear shows up right here and then other stuff shows up here as well. And as I said before, temperature gauge is here, fuel gauge is off over here. Now, on the steering wheel, it's a leather wrapped flat bottom steering wheel, which is also heated. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. It's a cold day today. So the heated steering wheel is now on. That will disappear in a second here. Um, but it's a flat bottom leather wrapped steering wheel with the R-Line logo right here at the base and uh, the splash of piano black around that logo right there. But you have this sporty grip at nine and three on the steering wheel here. It only comes on the R lines. Um, and then uh, the flat silver finish across the, the, most, the, the rest of the spoke here and with the uh, black buttons in between here. So your cruise control, travel assist, and all of that is right here. To turn on cruise control, you just hit that button right there and that brings up this icon here. And now I can hit this button here in the middle and I can adjust my following distance right down there um, and then I can hit set or I can hit plus or minus and now you see my speed is actually changing there by hitting the plus button or the minus button and I can touch and hold 
and that will go up in five mile an hour increments. So I've got my speed set right there. Even though I'm in park, I just have to hit the resume button and it will activate. This will turn green when cruise control is active. So that way you know cruise control is engaged. It's actually on right now, just not active. Storage bin up here, nice little storage bin and you'd also have a speaker up here as well. Um, your vent setup starts over here, right here, right here, and then across to the other side. It's a carbon fiber type finish right here on the uh, dash and that goes over into the door panels as well. On the R lines only, if you get a non R line, it's gonna be wood grain. The navigation screen, as I showed you, is right here, and I can actually take this and move it back over here if I don't want it on the screen just by unchecking that box, and now my navigation's back over here. Um, I do also have App Connect, which allows me to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink wirelessly on this car. So I can do uh, uh, Android Auto with my phone in my pocket. Pretty nice. You do also have heated seats and ventilated seats here, as I said, so you can run those simultaneously. You can run the fan and the heat. I'm not sure why you want to do that, but uh, some people do. Uh, and it's three phase on both. Your vent settings are right here and you can change them up here on the screen. Just an excuse to put more fingerprints up there. You can just hit the button here and change it too, just by hitting the button. Uh, you do also have something called air care. Air care is your air filtration system. And by turning this on, just hitting active here. As long as the windows are up and the sunroof is closed, there's gonna be a blue line start right here. And it's gonna expand as that coverage expands. It's a it's an air scrubbing, so it's filtering the air that's before it circulates it in the cabin. It's a very nice feature as well. So if you have uh, skunks in your area or maybe a stinky landfill or something that smells outside, maybe a big heap of uh, mulch or something you drive by every day that stinks, you're able to filter that air out before it circulates in the cabin. It's a very nice feature. Now I do also have a backup camera. Um, if I put this in reverse here, here's a look at that backup camera. I can turn the wheel left or right and the yellow line is gonna move accordingly to show me uh, where I'm headed. The green line signifies straight back and the red line signifies uh, where the bumper is. I do also have um, Fender audio in this car. So if I go to, let's see, menu here, uh, sound, there's my Fender Audio stuff right there. So I've got my EQ right there. And then I also have this little guy here where I can move it around to move speakers away from someone that's maybe sleeping and have it uh, not disturb them. Um, and then also for volume, there's these settings here that I can tweak. Uh, speed independent, audio lowering, all of, all of that stuff there and the voice guidance. So I can actually set up the voice guidance uh, volume. So this is pretty cool. Voice guidance volume. Voice guidance volume. So I can change it there, and I can also change the audio. Voice guidance. So there you go. Um, now, you do also have the car settings. Car settings, uh, I can change different things here. I can also reset my tire pressure. There's my long term, there's a short term. Um, I can also bring up uh, items for the digital cockpit and change what is displayed here. Auto Classic view one you have to select view one two or three before you can change what is displayed in your digital cockpit over here it's nice that you can do that so I'm changing what's displayed here and you can have it match on both sides or you can change it to where it's not so there's your um, basic setups there um, down below here wireless charging pad right here I can charge my phone with the case on it and this guy right here uh, unless I'm using a pop socket, you'll probably have to remove the pop socket to get it to charge. There's two USB-C connections down here as well. Those are backlit so you can see them at night. At least I believe they are for the SEL Premium. Um, and then there's a 12 volt charger port right there. Um, all of your climate control setups are here. You have a rest button so you can continue to circulate whatever air was in a car, heated air or, or uh, air conditioned air or cooled air. Uh, while you're away from the car, the sync button marries them, marries them up. Um, you do also have your push button start right here. Electronic parking brake is right here. I just lift up on it to start it, uh, to activate it and push my foot on the brake and push down to release it. This is my four motion mode or my drive mode here. And I can turn that between snow, which gives me dedicated all wheel drive. And then I have these mode buttons. Uh, where I can do eco, normal, sport, or custom. And if I don't want to touch it on the screen here, 
I can use this button here and push it on the screen and save some fingerprints on the on the touch screen there. Um, there is also an off-road and an off-road custom button. Off-road custom allows me to tweak all of these different aspects of the drive here. Steering, uh, park assist, hill assist, and what have you there. I'm just going to put that back on the roadway there. Now, these two buttons here, this is your 360 camera. I can bring that up. Now I have an overhead view. I can touch the front quadrant. Well, there's the left side. There's the rear. There's the right side. And there's the front. So now I've got that front camera and just touch the roof to go back to the overhead. Um, I can also change. Uh, different aspects. I can do 3D. I can do trailer view and all kinds of different things there and just push this button to turn it off And this is park assist park assist will actually help park the car It'll parallel park or perpendicular park or even straight in park very nice and you just turn that off there um, I've got a number of videos demonstrating that so if you need a demo on that you can find one of those on the channel there uh, here's a look at the key fob it's super slim so it doesn't take up a lot of space in your pocket you'll get one fancy key as well with the chrome on it but uh, when we do these for test drives and things of that nature we don't have that key out usually um, there's a look at your power lift gate button right there your remote start button lock and unlock of course and then of course the panic alarm on the side cup holder has a light in it right there and then you do also have in the armrest here another USB-C connection here lots of storage for maybe a medium-sized purse again a look at the seats here here's a look in the glove box here this car came in at 53,660. extras on this car included 990 bucks for the Atlas MDO package which includes monster mats for the bench seat heavy duty trunk liner with cargo blocks privacy cover for the cargo area auto dimming rear view mirror with home link for four year subscription for that and then also um, this has Volkswagen puddle lights and then also a trailer hitch extra setup as well so uh, and then a roadside assistance kit for 90 bucks uh, the puddle lights are 210 and the trailer hitch extras are 165 so all of that included that's with the seven pin adapter and everything 53 660 Here's a look at the manuals in the glove box here. With the trailer hitch extras, you get now a VW branded uh, hitch cover. Very nice, that's new. Um, and then also these are your uh, seat protectors for, or seat belt clip protectors for if you're using car seats. Your tire warranties are in here as well. And this one also has an adapter to bring your USB-C back to a regular USB if you have the older cables there. I'll put this back in the glove box here. There's a look at that home link mirror with the four garage door, the three door garage door memory and the fourth button right here for Bluetooth. Digital compass there, it's an auto dimming mirror. Vanity mirror up above with a light, an LED light above on each side. Just like that. And a light headliner in this car. There's your panoramic sunroof with the power sunshade. It goes all the way back to the back there. The sunroof. This pane of glass stacks on top of that one. Pop-up windscreen here. Very nice. This car does come with five years of car net free of charge. That'll allow you to remote start the car from your phone. Also, lock the doors, unlock the doors, check the location, check the fuel history, the fuel levels, and also get uh, a vehicle health report as well. Let's take a look at the back seat. Or the middle row seats, I should say. There's a look at those 21 inch Brazelton wheels. They only come on the R-Line SEO Premium now. Here's a look at the bench seat setup. Three car seats will fit in here. One over there, one in the middle, and one right here. There's a fold down armrest in the middle right here with cup, uh, cup holders there. It's squishy yet firm. Adjustable headrest on all three seats. These two seats, the outboard seats, this one and that one over there are heated as well. Your heated seat icons are, or buttons are back here. Climate control is independent back here as well. You can also control it from the head unit up front and also lock it out. So if you've got rambunctious passengers in the back that like to mess with the heat and cool, um, you can lock them out. Two USB-C connections here and a 12 volt, I'm sorry, a three prong plug-in right here. It may, that may be a little hard to see, but here's a look from the back to the front. Your instrument cluster right there, center console armrest, passenger seat there and look up at the giant panoramic sunroof very nice down here in the door panels 
it says fender audio over here in the door speaker there's a look at that gray inset with the premium stitch and the armrest there that fold down armrest once again right there and this is a 60 40 split so that seat tilts forward and these seats tilt forward separate and independent of each other there's your cup holder look right there same over here i do have a spectacular amount of legroom behind the driver's seat i was just in right there um, there's room for a full-size passenger in any seat in this car now we do also have a sunshade right here i can hook that up right there and that just locks in right there fender audio again let's take a look well here before we do that i want to show you the back seat if i just lift up on the seat here it pitches forward the bottom drops out so if you're considering a bench you got car seats if you got front facing boosters this is a perfect setup the seat tilts forward with the seat still attached you don't have to remove that booster seat to get into the third row there's your access to the third row a six foot four person will still sit back there six foot one six foot two all the way up to six foot four and they won't complain about the ride those headrests there you just flick up uh to adjust to the back your back and there's a sculpted roof there for a headliner in the headliner there so they're not gonna they're not gonna uh bump their head or feel squished in the back they can even be wearing a ball cap in the back and not have it uh impeded there's a look at how high off the floor that sits the seats are oh one more thing steel reinforced steel plate in the back of these seats steel plates in the back of those seats so in the event of a rear impact crash anything that's stored back there even with those seats down doesn't penetrate this seat and injure a passenger sitting in it Volkswagen does a lot with safety. There's a look at that 60-40 split. And then when we come back here, there's an easy, easy open hatch as well. So you just kick your foot to open that. Now the key is the car cannot be running. When you do that, it won't work if the car is running. There's a look up at the giant panoramic sunroof. This is a true seven seater. Two seats up front, three seats in the middle, two seats in the rear. Steel reinforcing plate in the back of these seats as well. More cup holders back here as well c pillar vents on each side right there and there so you have comfort in the back for your passengers they're not they're not sweltering in the summer and freezing in the winter two more usb c connections in the third row so you have a total of seven usb connections more cup holders there as well 12 volt charger port right here seat belt clips on the sides to keep seat belts out of the way if you're carrying cargo and these seats do fold down just with the flick of a wrist super easy just like that and there's velcro straps to pull them back up Cargo blocks right here, roadside assistance kit here, front license plate here, the towing accessory bag is right here, and then also the privacy covers underneath. That front plate will put on on request. Then underneath the floor here, there's the rest of your tow hitch, your trailer hitch in the box there, that privacy cover. Quick release subwoofer, fender subwoofer below that, and then this carpeted floor does get removed to get to the spare. There is a full size, or I'm sorry, a compact spare underneath there. And there's your push button to close the hatch. This car comes with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles. and includes a two year free maintenance package from Volkswagen. That's your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. And if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm gonna give you a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20 and 30,000 mile oil changes are all covered. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's here in St. Louis, make sure you come to Bomberito St. Peter's. There are two there, there are two um, Volkswagen dealers in St. Louis that are Bomberito, and make sure you come to uh, Bomberito St. Peter's. I'm going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. If you're interested in this car, give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.